Good morning. Uh, this morning I thought we'd uh, I'd give you a basic lesson in some trees. So uh, you don't want lollipop trees, so if you start with a circle, make sure you have some extensions out above. My friend Chris has been asking me for this, so here we go. All right, I'm starting with a light mix of, uh, this is actually cobalt blue teal and aurelian yellow. It's just the bright green, and what I'm doing with this is I'm just going to give you the shape of the tree itself. Not worrying about values too much here, just give, getting in the gesture and the shape of the tree. There's many ways to paint a tree, you know, you know that. Uh, this is just one, but it's a simple one, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. So basically, you establish the shape of the tree, you know, what you're looking for. Get those branches extended out, you know. Okay. Don't be afraid to have some jump right out. And okay, the light's coming from my top right. Uh, this is a darker mixture of cobalt blue teal. I'm sorry, cobalt and a really yellow. And you know, I'm dropping it. You can see I'm dropping it in all those. Uh, sky holes that are left it's much darker in there you know you have to be aware of where the light is hitting in a tree okay uh, you can see that nice nice drip coming down those sh they're mixing themselves all right i added a little uh quinacridone sienna here uh to get a nice uh, you know the trees are not always brown you know anyway uh we'll get back to that later uh, and underneath, you know, at the bottom of the tree, there's no light getting in under there, so it's very dark. And there's always branches sticking down, you know. So I'm dro dropping these darks in around the sky holes because there's no light getting in the sky holes. And the dark gives you a nice sense of depth in the tree, so. Okay, and you know, that's basically it. And then you can keep you know, I'm running a branch. If you have sky holes, you know, run run a branch through them, and that helps to uh, also give you some depth. You know, some branches on the bottom of the trees. Okay, just so very light. You know, running some branches around. Okay, so you can see that working those edges, you don't want any sharp edges, working the darks into it so you get a nice variety. A couple of leaves popping up here and there. Right, this, I'm just showing you uh, in the back another tree in the distance so I'm just using some you know some cobalt blue here just to show you a distant tree next to this one okay a little trunk so it's all about value and, and you know nice cool and light always go back very very dark underneath the branches themselves no light at all getting up and under there maybe a little reflective light but that's it you know making those branches a little darker but i'm just showing you a, you know basically when you have the trunk of a tree you know the trunk comes down it spreads out at the bottom the roots are always reaching out then you have that branch coming in there's always a little round edge to that as it meets the tree okay so be aware of that make much much more realistic okay all right and and basically then we just get a little bit of a shadow underneath the tree okay just mix up a shadow color always good to leave a few lights under there but that helps to sit the tree down when you when you do that. Uh, just a little. Hope you learn something from that. All right, let's get into this. This is a a spruce tree, 
The top of the tree always has a little bit of a crown kind of a appearance to it. Then there's a space, you know, I always leave that space for the branch to come through. The, tr the uh, upper branches are always reaching up, you know, going up on, on a little angle upwards. Kind of looks like a bird taken off, but that's that's how they look, and you know, and then as it comes down, they start to the weight, you know, as they get larger, as the branches get larger, they get heavier, so they they start to bend towards the towards the earth, you know, and the lower you get, the the more they the bigger they are, and the heavier they, heavier they are, the more they more they lean towards that bottom. Uh, towards the earth. All right. So I'm add, adding that uh, trunk, a little quinacridone sienna, mixing it, just mixing it with the greens, and you know, so you get that basic kind of Christmas tree look to it. All right. And you can work these edges and some darks, and then I'm, you know. Have fun with it, you know. It's not don't. It's not too serious a thing here. Okay, a little shadow underneath, as I say, always sits it down. Then I'm adding some uh, cobalt blue teal with a little red and yellow, so there's a little green on it. You know, as the light the light bounces all over it, and you know there'll be areas that are much greener. But spruce trees have a lot of blue in them, you know. So have fun with it. You know, you can you can do these in minutes, and you know. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a, these are just distant trees. Uh, you see these a lot up in Maine, you know, towards a lake. So I'm just using a flat brush running along the tops of these trees with some uh, vertical strokes and then filling that in. That's, I'm just using cobalt blue there. So you get that cool light effect. Okay, and then I'm putting another row in front. It's much darker. I added a lot of uh, ultramarine to that and a touch of quinac or don't see in a, You can see the uh, cobalt blue, blue I put in there as well. All right, so I'm going to put some reflection here. This is the distant color first, cobalt, and then the heavier, darker color, and then even darker. So you put that in, let it come down. Here's the darker color, front color. Let that come down. You can picture this in a painting easily, you know. Let that come down. Then take a damp brush and just lift out your piece of land there so you get a nice, nice effect of uh, this coastline, you know, where, where trees are reflecting. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you again very soon.